Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's class, we are going to discuss about idle time. So let's see the meaning of idle time. Idle time, it refers to that portion of hours paid which are not utilized for productive purpose. It means what? Idle time refers to that portion of hours paid which are but these hours that are not utilized for productive purposes. Means it, it refers to the time for which workers are paid. It refers to the time for which the workers are paid but no production work is actually done. But there is no production but they are still paying to the workers. Clear? So let's understand with a quick example. Imagine a factory where workers are present. Factory where workers are present but due to a power failure means there is no power. Then what happens? Then machines are not running. So the workers are still being paid but no work is happening because of power failure. right? So this is what called as idle time. Clear? So let's see there are many reasons for idle time such as machine breakdown means production stops when machines are machines stop working that is unexpectedly right and second one is power failure means works get interrupted due to electricity outages and shortage of raw materials means workers wait when materials are not available on time then the workers they have to wait but they are still being paid that is what called idle time and poor supervision means the lack of a proper monitoring and guidance and waiting for instructions means workers stay idle when they don't receive timely work orders and lack of planning or coordination means here the idle time occurs when activities are they are not properly scheduled clear so these are some reasons for idle time they are machine breakdown power failure shortage of raw materials poor super poor supervision and waiting for instructions and lack of planning or coordination so idle time it means what it is the time for which workers are paid but no production work is actually done clear this is what idle time Next, let's see the types of idle time. Normal idle time and abnormal idle time. So, let's discuss about normal idle time. Yeah. Normal idle time. It means what? This is unavoidable. This is unavoidable and expected in any production process. This is unavoidable. Unavoidable means what? That cannot be avoided or not preventable. And expected means the workers already know that some small delays like tea breaks or machine setting, it will be happened during the work. That is in any production process. So normal idle time is this is unavoidable means cannot be avoided and expected in any production process. Expected means the workers already know that some small delays will be going to happen. Clear? So let us see the normal causes of idle time. Tea or lunch breaks. Tea or lunch breaks. These are necessary, right? And machine setup or tool change means the time taken to prepare machine or tools for the next job. That leads to normal idle time. And a routine maintenance means a regular upkeep of machines. And minor repairs like small or quick fixes that happen occasionally. And personal needs means some short breaks for drinking water or using restrooms etc clear and waiting for small instructions means a brief pauses while receiving the routine guidance clear that is what waiting for small instructions so these all the causes that leads to normal idle time clear i hope this is clear so the normal causes of 
normal idle time is tea or lunch breaks, machine setup or tool change, routine maintenance, minor repairs, personal needs and waiting for small instructions. Now let's see the accounting treatment of normal idle time. What is the accounting treatment of normal idle time? Cost of normal idle time that is treated as production overhead that is also called as factory overhead and absorbed by all jobs or products. Cost of normal idle time that is treated as production overhead also called factory overhead and absorbed by all jobs or products. Here normal idle time means what? They, this is unavoidable means they cannot be avoided or not preventable and expected in any production process means the workers already know that some small delays they are going to happen. Now this accounting treatment I will explain through one example. See here a worker one minute yeah a worker is paid a rupees 500 for 8 hours of work out of this 30 minutes means 0.5 hours we need in hours 30 minutes means what 0.5 hours is normal idle time due to machine setup due to machine setup means time taken to prepare machine or tools for the next job clear that is what machine setup so that the normal idle time is 30 minutes or 0.5 hours but the worker is paid 500 for 8 hours find out how the idle time cost is treated here first what we have to do we have to calculate the wage rate per hour means for 1 hour what is the wage rate here they have given the wages that is 500 for 8 hours means 1 hour how much 500 divided by 8 1 hour 62.50 per hour till it is clear right and next we have to now calculate the cost of idle time here 30 minutes means we have to take an in hours means 0.5 hours into for one hour wage is 62.50 means our normal idle time is rupees 31.25 so this 31.25 that is treated as factory overhead. So it will be added to the production overhead or factory overheads. Both are same. Clear? Now let's take tot our total overheads rupees 1000. But this 1000 which includes rupees 968.75. These are the other over overheads and here we added our normal idle time. That's, that is the accounting treatment, right? Then that our total overheads, it becomes rupees 1000. Our actual overhead is 960.75. And here we will get normal idle time. What is the accounting treatment? We need to add the normal idle, idle time to the production overhead. That is rupees 31.25 then our total overheads that is rupees 1000 and let's take units produced 100 now see here the accounting treatment is cost of normal idle time it is treated as production overhead and absorbed by all jobs or products it means what absorbed by all jobs means first we need to calculate the absorption rate here how we will calculate the absorption rate so each unit absorb 1000 our total overheads and units produced how much 100 means rupees 10 as overhead clear now let's say five jobs are done in in the day Five jobs are done in the day. Job A, 20 units produced. Job B, 15. Job C, 25. Job D, 10 units. Job E, 30. Total 100 units in one day. So here each job absorbs overheads based on units. Means A means what? 20 into our absorption rate is rupees 10. Right? See here. Rupees 10. That is total overhead divided by units produced. That is rupees 10. Means that equals to rupees 200. 20 into 10. And here 15 into 10. 25 into 10. 10 into 10. 30 into 10. So 
rupees 31.25 that is the idle ten it is spread across all jobs but that is hidden within the within rupees 1000 overhead total that is what this is the accounting treatment that is cost of normal idle time it is treated as production overhead and absorbed by all jobs or products but here absorption rate is imported clear i hope normal idle time is clear to you all this example i hope this example is clear to you all so the second type of idle time is abnormal idle time abnormal idle time see abnormal idle time means what this happens due to unexpected or avoidable reasons like major breakdowns or power failures or shortage of materials this happens due to unexpected means the workers they don't know about the reasons or they don't know about the possibilities that that may they are going to happen that is what unexpected but normal idle time it is expected means workers already know that some small delays they are going to happen but in abnormal idle time that is unexpected means the workers they don't know that some delays they are going to happen right and or avoidable reasons avoidable means they can be avoided but normal idle time is unavoidable means they cannot be avoided here abnormal idle time is unexpected but avoidable this is exactly the opposite of normal idle time avoidable reasons like major breakdowns power failures or shortage of materials clear now let's see the causes of abnormal idle time machine breakdown power failure shortage of raw material strikes or lockouts these all are unexpected right flood and fire this is also unexpected and transport delays these are also unexpected so these all are unexpected delays now avoidable but most of these causes can be avoided or minimized how machine breakdown like it can be avoided with regular maintenance right and power failure so it can be reduced reduced using backup generators and shortage of raw materials it can be avoided with proper inventory planning and strike or lockouts it can be prevented through a good hr policies and communication and transport delays they are also can be reduced by choosing reliable suppliers right so abnormal idle time that is unexpected means the workers don't know that some delays they are going to happen and avoidable means they can be avoided or minimized clear that is what abnormal idle time now let's see the accounting treatment of abnormal idle time in normal idle time what is the accounting treatment we will add idle time to the factory overheads or production overheads but in abnormal idle time it is charged to profit and loss account clear so let's see example workers earns rupees 500 for 8 hours but due to a power failure he is idle for 1 hour what we have to do first we need to calculate the wages per hour that is 500 by 8 that is 62.50 power failure due to power failure he is idle for one hour means he has not worked at all for one hour due to power failure so abnormal idle time cost is one hour hour idle time and wage, wages per hour 62.50 means rupees 62.50 it is our abnormal idle time cost so this 62.50 it is recorded as a loss in the profit and loss account clear why loss because abnormal idle time that is unplanned right and unexpected also but avoidable so it does not contribute to production and but still costs money right so 
that's what it is recorded as a loss in the profit and loss account so this is about abnormal idle time so idle time means what it refers to the time for which workers are paid but no production work is actually done clear so here idle time refers to the to that portion of hours paid which are not utilized for productive purposes clear due to machine breakdowns or power failure huh? during the power failure they are not able to operate the machines right okay uh, for example due to power failure they are not able to operate the machines for one hour that one hour we will call it as a idle time but the workers are being still paid still being paid workers are still being paid clear that is what idle time there are mainly two types of idle times normal and abnormal idle times clear i hope this concept is clear to you all if not please leave a comment thank you